there's already not that much time. Okay, so if you want to do it tonight, you need to do a few things. The first one is you need to immerse yourself in the world of lucid dreaming. You need to really immerse yourself. Watch as many movies as you can. Watch as many of those videos where it says like POV, what does a lucid dream look like? POV, uh, living your best life, adventure, action, travel compilations on YouTube. These are really great for seeding the dream, like giving yourself inspiration and ideas for what to lucid dream about. You can do like a year of traveling, a, yeah, one year traveling compilation, um, one year adventure compilation, skydiving compilation, whatever you want to dream about, you need to watch and immerse yourself in watching a, as much of that as you can today, right up until the point where you fall asleep. What you can also do throughout the day is you need to do a bunch more reality checks. I know you've probably already been doing them. Focus on just one of them. Don't confuse yourself, just focus on one. For example, pinch, pinching the nose, trying to breathe, or the finger palm push, whatever your favorite reality check is. And by the way, if you don't know what a reality check is, check my other videos, because there's, there's not enough time in this video to explain it. We're, you know, we're running out of time. You've probably wasted, already wasted time on YouTube watching a bunch of pointless videos. So, okay, you, you watch the dream seeding stuff. You've watched all the movies and stuff which will give your mind like imagery of things to create dreams about, inspiration. You do your reality checks multiple times a day. You prepare for the, for the lucid dream. So you tell yourself, when I have the lucid dream tonight, because you will, right? Remember, it's me and you. I'm, I'm on your side here. When you, when you have your lucid dream, what are you going to do in the dream? Like plan, literally plan what you're going to do. When you make plans for the weekend, when you think about, oh, I'm going to go into town this weekend, and then I'm going to go to this shop, then I'm going to go here, then I might go to the gym, you make the plan fully expecting that you're going to go into town. You never doubt whether you'll make it to town, right? You expect to arrive at town and then do those things in that order. You need to have the same conviction. You need to fully expect to lucid dream so much that you're actually not even questioning whether you're going to lucid dream. You're just planning what you're going to do when you become lucid. So make a detailed plan. I'm going to do this. Then I'm going to try and fly. Then I'm going to try <laughs> whatever, you, whatever you're going to try and do, right? I don't want to get too too graphic here, but <laughs> whatever you want to lose, use the lucid dream to do, make that clear plan. I'm going to do this. I'm going to go here. And then you take out this aspect of like of doubt. You don't doubt, will I lucid dream? It's just a question of what do you want to do when you become lucid? And this is a very big distinction. Very, it will make a very big difference. So you do that. And then that's that's really all you need to do. Like to lucid dream tonight, like in one day, to guarantee that you will have a lucid dream tonight, it really comes down to just immersing yourself in the dream seeding stuff, like the movies and the inspiration and the, the imagery, becoming emotionally engaged and then fully expecting to lucid dream so much to the point where you're actually planning what you're going to do when you become lucid. And then add in the reality checks and then add in another bonus, which is just before going to bed, you repeat to yourself again and again, I'm lucid, maybe like five, 10 times. That's all you need to do.